Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Little Homestead. Today we've got a small project. I uh, did what pretty much anybody's going to do if they do it enough. Broke the head off of my splitting mall. There's all kinds of different splitting malls out there. Uh, Fiskers makes one that's really highly ra rated. Um, and obviously you have the option of going with a hydraulic log splitter. I don't personally think that the hydraulic log splitter is worth it. Unless you're processing a massive amount of firewood or maybe you have some sort of medical condition that doesn't allow you to use a splitting mall. The split mall is going to be faster. If you have decent straight grain wood, it's going to be the better option. If you don't believe me, uh, just do the math. I'll, um, I don't know, maybe at the end of this video I'll break it down. Or I'll just do it now, in front of the ambient glow of Harbor Freight battery lantern light. Initial cost on your log splitter, if you want to get something decent, you're going to spend around a thousand bucks. I'm assuming this over a ten year period. Um, gas per cord, you're going to burn about two gallons of gas per cord that you split. Repairs, that's a low estimate, but, you know, replace a couple hydraulic hoses. You might be able to do it for a hundred if you're the one who's doing the repairs. Maintenance, ten dollars a year. You figure one oil change, maybe spark plug every now and again. You got a total of seventeen hundred dollars, hundred seventy dollars per year, seventeen dollars per cord for the mall. Initial investment, fifty bucks. I put it times two, just in case you happen to, I don't know, lose one one handle per year which yeah, may use may not it just depends but at 15 bucks times 10 years 150 bucks a thousand count bottle of ibuprofen which will be probably necessary at nine dollars a bottle one ice pack 265 bucks 26.50 a year two dollars and 65 cents per cord isn't saving money romantic back to the video there's plenty of malls out there that have a fiberglass handle i personally don't like the fiberglass ones because once you break it which you will. It's very difficult to replace. You pretty much have to trash the whole thing. I also like wood because it, in my opinion, tends to dampen the vibration a little bit. That may not be a big deal to some people, but for people like me who are 30 years old and don't feel a day over 48, it's a good thing. I don't have a draw knife, so to shave down this old handle, we are going to use my good friend the machete. If you haven't seen my previous video, then you don't really know, but the machete has a lot of uses. So we've got our handle clamped, courtesy of the good folks at Harbor Freight, and we're ready to get started. So now we're going to drill these, uh, these old metal plugs out of here and be able to get that old piece of wood out. Got my little plugs out and took about two minutes. I know that may not be worth it to some, and yeah, you can go buy them at the hardware store, but they were already there. I mean, what would your granddad do? Remember, he beat the Nazis. So we got the end trimmed off. We're going to put these plugs back in. Uh, normally there would be a, a wedge that goes in there, but I couldn't quite fit it just with how much I trimmed off, and I think we're going to be all right without it. If you're really good at this, you can do it in one hit. Then the final task, test fire it. Obviously, something like this is not really necessary, reusing the handle. I only lost about maybe an inch or two off of it, so it's completely good. I could probably do this one or two more times and be fine. The bigger thing is, if I go to the hardware store and I spend $12 on this, then in 
two months or three months, I'm, I'm going to break it again. It's just going to happen. There's no way around it. As careful as I can be, the amount of wood that I'm having to split, it's going to break. So you might as well act like your granddad in the Great Depression, act like Dave Ramsey, save a couple bucks. It doesn't hurt anything. It took me maybe 15 minutes if I wasn't spending all the time recording. Sometimes my five-year-old cameraman gets a little wonky and I got to reshoot stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. I love you guys and God bless.